Hey guys, it's Dana and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Color Tint Multi-Use Oil Tint from the brand Colorette. Lately, I'm into these type of products. Um, sobrang gusto kong ginagamit yung mga ganitong multi-use oil, multi-use cream nowadays. Kasi sobrang convenient lang niya gamitin. So anyway, this video is going to be a review and wear test na rin. I'll be showing you the application of the product on my face with and without a base, foundation, or BB cream. And then, I'm going to be showing you na rin kung ano yung ng product on my face throughout the day. And of course, at the end of the video, I will be showing you kung ano yung itsura niya before ko siya alisin and my final thoughts about the product. So if you guys want to see all of those, then please keep on watching. I have here the shades Emma and Ava. And I believe meron silang dalawang types of lip product. Meron sila nung fresh and meron sila nung matte. Ako, since I have dry lips, and most part of my face are dry. So yeah, as much as possible, I stay away from mattifying products and gusto ko yung mga dewy finish. So, this is the packaging of the item. So, as you can see, super simple lang nung packaging niya. And sa box, on this side of the box, meron siya nung parang description ng product. So, our color tints are multi-use, oil-based tints that may be used on the eyes, cheeks, and lips. These tints are true to color, easily blendable, and ultra-pigmented with a matte finish. For three ways done right, available in various shades, suitable for all Filipino skin tones. Hashtag take the tint. Actually, upon checking yung items nila, sa Beauty Manila ko pala to nabili, by the way, kasi sa Lazada and Shopee, ano na siya, um, sold out na siya. So, sa Beauty Manila, ito na lang yung shades na available na gusto ko kasi ibang masyado ng loud for my skin. So, at the other side of the box, and yung ingredients niya. So, mayroon siyang beeswax and other chemicals that I can't pronounce. So, huwag na natin yung basahin. And this is made in the Philippines. So, hashtag support local. So, also nakalagay dito na it contains 12 ml and it's cruelty free. You can use it up until 24 months after you open it. So, yung nakalagay dyan. And then, mayroon siyang sticker ng manufacturing date niya over there. And then, here on the side, just says beauty and always. And then, that's it. That's the packaging. So now let's open it and let's apply it on my face. So when you open it from the box, this one is Ava and then this one is Emma. So makikita mo na agad yung shade niya sa packaging niya pa lang. And you can just see yung brand name niya. And then at the back, it just says Shake Me Up Real Good. And Parang meron siyang shaker sa loob. So, that's a plus. Kasi, hindi ka na mahihirapang mag-shake. So, you can mix the pigment and the oil bago nyo siya ganitin. So, when you open the product, so, ito lang yung normal size na doe foot applicator niya. And, let's watch it. This one is in the shade Ava. This one is Emma. Right now, I don't have anything on my face except for my brows and my eyelash mascara. And now, I'm going to apply it on my face muna without any base. So, on this side of my face, I'm going to put Ava. And then, on the other side of my face, I'm going to use Emma. So, unti muna yung lalagay ko kasi hindi ko alam kung gano'n siya kapigmented. So, that's one layer of Ava. So, second layer. That is the second layer of Ava. And, ang napansin ko sa kanya, medyo mabilis siyang mag-set. So, you really have to work fast. Nano siyang onting-onting set, pero hindi siya ganun ka-strong. Let's not try Emma on this side of my cheeks. Again, let's go for another layer of Emma. So, initial thoughts, pigmented siya. Like, konti lang yung product na nilagay ko, as you can see. And, ang napansin ko, mabilis siyang mag-set. Same sila ng texture. Medyo same sila ng formula. Hindi ko sure kung sa manufacturing lang or sa batch lang na to. Pero, when you look closely dun sa bottle na meron ako, parang alam niyo yung mas malab na yung Emma. Ganun pa talaga siya. Yun lang. Yun lang napansin ko. Tapos, kitang-kita mo yung liquid niya. As in, makakita mo yung bubbles na gumagalaw kapag shake mo yung product, yung Emma. Whereas, yung Ava, parang wala. As in, mukha siyang mas malapot. 
nung sinwatch ko rin siya kanina sa hands ko, mas malapot yung consistency ni Ava compared kay Emma. So, that's Ava and Emma on my face without a base. So now, I already applied my BB cream and I'm going to be applying Ava on this side and Emma on the other side. So we'll now be trying the first layer of Ava. Ang ganda yung shade. Tignan natin i-build up to see if it's buildable. And I'll just blend it again. This is Ava on its second layer. And then let's try Emma naman on the other side. So this is the first layer of Emma. So this is the first layer of Emma. Actually, the product is really pigmented. Kaya yung first layer, okay na ako dyan. Pero... Ako kasi pag nagbablush ako, especially if I know that it is a long day, na marami akong gagawin, medyo mahaba-haba yung araw ko, medyo kinakapalan ko nalagay yung blush ko sa umaga kasi magtutone down naman siya pag nalagay ko ng powder and then pag na-absorb na siya ng skin ko. So, let's go for the second layer. So yeah, that's Ava on that side of my face and this is Emma. Um, I can say na mas mabilis siyang i-blend dahil mas naging creamy siya dahil nagkaroon ako ng base. Mas mabilis siyang i-blend if you're gonna use it with a BB cream or if you're gonna use it with a, with a foundation kasi meron kang parang something na malagkit underneath. Kaya pag in-apply mo siya, hindi siya ganun kabilis mag-set. Unlike kapag direct sa skin, especially ako, dry ang skin ko, Pag dinalit ako siya sa skin, na-dry, um, mas mabilis siyang mag-set. Mas gusto ko yung naging pigment niya after ako mag-base. Kasi syempre, may clean canvas ka, so mas makikita mo talaga yung color and, and yung payoff ng product. So yan, that's um, Ava and Emma on my face. Now, let's put it on my eyelids. Again, I'm putting Ava on this side and then I'm putting Emma on the other side. So this one's Ava, first layer. And then, let's go for another layer. Ang ganda niya, guys. Ang ganda ng shade niya. Tsaka yung formula niya. Ang bilis na i-blend. So, now, I'm putting Emma on the other side of my eyes. That's first layer of Emma. Let's go for another layer. So this is Ava on the left side of my face. And this one's Emma on the other side of my face. Kasi pag tinignan ko yung face ko sa mirror and sa screen, halos same lang yung shade nila. Actually, pag tinignan mo siya sa bottle, hindi siya ganun kasi eh. Pero, yun nga, nung in-apply ko siya sa face ko, halos same lang yung shade niya. So, now let's apply it on my lips. So, let's try muna yung si Apa. So, this is Apa. Hindi ko siya kung nakikita niyo sa camera. Pero, I think nakikita niyo na, nakikita niyo na yung bitak-bitak nung lips ko. So, I don't know, pero parang hindi ko siya gusto sa lips. So, next naman, let's try Emma on my lips. So, this is Emma on my lips. Emma is definitely darker sa lips ko compared sa cheeks and sa eyelids ko. Kasi kung titignan niyo siya sa salamin and dito sa, I mean sa monitor and dito sa salamin, Halos same lang yung color ng Ava, yung color ni Emma at ni Ava sa cheeks at sa um, eyelids ko. Pero sa lips ko, you can really see na parang mas limito yung totoong kulay niya dito sa lips ko. Na mas darker siya kaysa kay Ava. 
And surprisingly, parang magkaiba yung formula niya. Kasi yung formula ni Emma is medyo hindi siya ganun ka-drying sa lips ko. Pero same sila ng under the line fresh. Same silang fresh. Hindi ko alam kung bakit ganun. So, for my initial thoughts, the product and using it on my lips, as what I've mentioned, um, parang iba yung formula ng dalawang items na nakuha ko. Ava is mas malapot compared kay Eva. Eva has a more watery consistency. And so, nung in-apply ko si Ava sa lips ko, I didn't really like it kasi drying siya. So, ina-emphasize niya yung uh, dry areas ng lips ko and na-emphasize yung bitak and nag nagkiling siya dun sa mga bitak-bitak areas ng lips ko. Whereas, Emma... Actually, dapat same lang sila eh. Pero, nung nilagay ko si Emma sa lips ko, hindi ganun ka-drying sa feelings ng lip. So, I just completed my makeup. Nag-powder lang ako to set everything. And then, later on, I will check in so you guys can see kung ano nang itsura niya sa face ko, kung nandyan pa ba siya, or kung ano man. And then, at the end of the video, I'll show you again kung anong itsura niya. And of course, my final thoughts about this product. So, I'll be back. So, hey guys, right now, I'm in front of a window. So, sorry kung medyo maingay. Since tints are usually used on a daily basis, mas maganda if makita nyo kung ano yung isura niya under natural sunlight. Kanina kasi nakagamit ko tong ring light ko. So, medyo harsh yung lighting. So, now, yeah, this is how the colored, colored tints looks like on a natural sunlight. And actually, gusto ko yung shade niya kasi super natural lang. And it's now um, 1.30pm and I'll be back later. Hey guys, I'm right here again sa harap ng window so you can see. Um, as you can see, okay pa yung sa eyelids ko and sa cheeks ko. Nandiyan pa yung product, meron pa siya. And the only thing na nawala is yung sa lips ko. It's because uh, kumain ako. Uh, I ate cereals and crinkles kaya expected ko naman talaga na maaalis siya. Other than that, sa eyelids and sa cheeks, the product is still there and okay pa siya. Mag-retouch lang ako ng lips sa lips and I'll be back again later. Hey guys, I am now back for my final check-in. It's now 7.30pm and as you can see, um, the product it's is still showing on my eyelids and my cheeks. Pero so kahit super onti na lang niya, it's still, it's still there. Dito sa camera, parang onti na lang yung product. Pero right now, I'm looking dito sa mirror ko and sa personal, mas kita pa siya. Parang hindi siya ganun ka parang nawala kagaya dito sa camera. So, for my cheeks and for my eyelids, okay siya. Kasi I can really say na nagtagal siya throughout the day kahit na nagpawis ako and nagblot ako ng tissue kanina eh, kasi medyo nag-coil up yung uh, T-zone ko. Pero still, nandyan pa rin siya. For lips naman, um, nakadalawang retouch ako throughout the day kasi pag kumakain ako, naaalis siya. So, in-expect ko naman yun. Hindi ko naman siya in-expect na maging long-wearing kasi hindi naman niya kinlame na long-wearing siya. Usually naman, yung mga gantong type of multi-use uh, tints and multi-use creams, usually, um, hindi naman talaga siya long-wearing sa lips kasi hindi naman yun yung mga claims nila. Yung actually sa lips naman, okay lang sa akin na mag-touch up, okay lang sa akin na mag-retouch ng mag-retouch. Uh, basta comfortable yung lips ko. Ayoko kasi yung mga long-wearing na lip products. So, talagang ramdam na ramdam mo na parang meron kang something sa lips. Mabigat sa lips. Yun. Mas gusto ko yung lightweight kasi I can do touch-ups naman throughout the day. So, let's now proceed with my final thoughts. I'm going to talk about the formula, the shades, the packaging, and the price. So, let's first talk about yung formula niya. I really like the formula of this product. As what you saw a while ago, I tried the product on my face without a BB cream and with a BB cream. So, nung tinay ko siya without a BB cream, hindi ko siya masyadong nagustuhan kasi medyo mabilis siyang mag-set with my dry skin. If you guys don't know my skin type, I am combination. So, oily ako sa part na to, sa T-zone ko, tapos yung outer part ng face ko is dry. So, nung tinay ko siyang i-blend without uh, a base or a foundation or BB cream underneath, Ma okay siyang i-blend sa part na to pero dito nagpa-patchy na siya kasi ang bilis niyang mag-set uh, sa part na to ng face ko since siguro kasi dahil nga medyo dry yung dito part ng face ko pero nung ginamit ko na siya on top of a BB cream, mas naging blend na po siya and mas nagsuan ko yung finish ng product on top of it siguro uh, dumagdag yung moisture and dumagdag yung legkit ng BB cream kaya mas matagal siyang mag-set, mas uh, naging wet or mas naging, alam niyo, yung creamy yung consistency niya nung bin-blend ko na siya kasi parang humalo siya dun sa formula ng BB cream na ginamit ko. Also, sa eyelids, it's really nice. Sobrang ganda rin niya sa eyelids. For combination skin like me, and also 
if you have dry skin, I think uh, I recommend you to use this product on top of a BB cream kasi medyo mabilis siyang mag-set kapag wala kayong base underneath. So what I also like about this product is long wearing siya sa eyelids ko and sa cheeks ko. For lips, we'll talk about the lips later for now. Let's talk about my eyelids and my cheeks. Uh, with this type of product kasi, mas nagugustuhan ko siya. Nagre-repurchase ako kapag long wearing siya sa eyelids and sa cheeks. So with this type of product, ayun nga, mas nagugustuhan ko kapag long wearing kasi ayaw na ayaw ko for the rest of my face except for my lips, ha? Ayaw na ayaw ko nang girl touch. Kasi parang feeling ko, for example, ito yung makeup, nakapag-makeup ako, tapos lumabas ako ng bahay, syempre magdudumihan yung face ko. Tapos mag girl touch ulit ako ng another layer ng makeup, feeling ko nasa sandwich ko yung dumi. Alam niyo yung imbis na maalis siya, maalis mo yung dumi, nasa stock siya dun kasi sinasandwich mo siya ng another layer of makeup. Yun yung pakiramdam ko. Kaya for the rest of my face, except for my lips, ayaw na ayaw ko nang girl touch. What I do, pag feeling ko na-haggard na ako, pinagpapawisan ako, nagbablot lang ako ng tissue. Ay, hindi talaga ako nag-retouch. Kaya, pag mga ganito, nag-inalagay sa eyelids and cheeks, sobrang nagugustuhan ko kapag sobrang long wearing siya. As you can see sa camera, sobrang, tingnan nyo yung sa eyelids, so as in, nandyan pa din siya. Sobrang pigmented pa rin. Vibrant pa rin yung color niya. Um, sa cheeks, medyo nag-tone down na siya. Pero, pag titingin ako dito sa mirror ko, dito sa in-person, Ano pa rin siya? Super pigmented pa rin siya. Kasi siguro yung lights ko, siguro nawa-wash out yung colors ng face ko. Pero dito, in person sa salamin, andun pa rin. Andun pa rin yung shade niya. Hindi siya ganun na wala. Kaya guys, kapag nagbablush ako, I recommend na medyo sobrahan nyo ng onte. I mean, di ba, maglalitik sa cheeks nyo, tapos yun nyo, okay na yun. Dagyan nyo ng onti pa. Onting onti lang. Uh, wag naman yung super na sobra na pa. Mukha na kayong sinampal. Just enough para meron kayong konting allowance para if ever mag-tone down yung color, meron pa rin matitira. Ganun. So now, let's proceed with my lips. Yung formula nito sa lips, surprisingly, magkaiba siya. So, this one is Ava and this one is Emma. As what I've showed, I showed you a clip video kanina nung pinapakita ko sa inyo yung bubbles talaga gumagalaw. I don't know, pero mas malapot talaga yung formula ni Ava compared kay Emma. And, nung ginamit ko sila both sa lips ko, Long wearing, no, hindi siya long wearing. Hindi niya kinlain na long wearing siya, so it's fine. It's just very comfortable sa lips. So, you'll really expect it to be not long wearing. And, kailangan mo talagang mag-touch ups. Kailangan mo siyang dalhin para mag-retouch ka ng mag-retouch throughout the day. Lalo na kung kumakain ka or iinom ka throughout the day. When it comes to the blendability naman, it is blendable sa lips. Pero, Ava, I don't think I will use it on my lips. Kasi, it's really drying. Na-accentuate niya yung mga dry areas ng lips ko and mga bitak-bitak ng lips ko. Kaya, hindi ko siya gagamitin sa lips. For my eyelids, for my cheeks, I will definitely use it. Pero sa lips ko, no, I'm not gonna use it kasi drying siya. Emma that I have, I'll use it for my eyelids, my cheeks, and my lips as well. Pero Ava, I'll use it on my eyelids, my cheeks, but my lips, no, kasi drying siya. So that's it. For the formula, we'll now proceed with the shade. I'm di ko memorize that ng shade kasi super dami niyang shade range. According to her claims, her color tints are available in various shades suitable for all Filipina skin tones. So, makita ko naman yung shades range niya kahit hindi ko siya na-try. Uh, makikita mo naman dun sa mga swatches dun sa website ng Beauty Manila and other websites like Shopee and Lazada na super dami mong pwedeng pagpilian. So next, we'll talk about its packaging. So for me, the packaging affects kung paano nyo isustore yung product. So it affects the storage of the product. And the storage of the product will also affect yung formula niya. So for me, the storage or the packaging is as important as the formula. Kaya napansin ko sa item na to kanina kasi nalapag ko siya sa lamesa ko nang nakaganyan lang. So I leave it there so siguro mga 30 minutes or mga one hour ko siya na iwan. E napansin ko na naghihiwalay yung pigment niya sa oil. So, kaya siguro nilagyan niya ng parang mixing ball. Yun yung purpose niya kasi naghihiwalay yung pigment siya ka oil. Hindi naman kakaiba yung packaging niya. It's just very simple and straightforward. And then, open it. And then, you get the usual. Meron siyang stopper para it's good for traveling. And then, you have the standard size of the doe foot applicator. And lastly, we'll talk about its price. So, this product retails for 299 pesos. And for me, sulit yun. Kasi it's a product that you can use 
for your eyes, your cheeks, and your lips. So, parang isipin mo na lang na bumili ka ng um, tatlong items sa tagbo 100 pesos na magagamit mo for your eyelids, for your cheeks, and your lips. Sobrang sulit nga na. The formula is really nice, especially kapag kaya nga ng what I mentioned a while ago, you're using it on top of a base. Hindi naman siya too bad when you're using it without a foundation or without a BB cream. It's just because dry yung skin ko, kaya ganun siya sa akin. Siguro kapag mga oily skin, um, medyo mas mabilis mag-work, i-work to sa face nyo kapag walang base. Pero with the base, ang ganda niya, wala akong uh, reklamo pag may base, pag may BB cream or foundation ako underneath. Sobrang okay yung blendability niya. Kaya, it's really, really nice. And, and of course, it's long wearing. Ang tagal talaga niya, hanggang ngayon. Dito niyo naman, sa ay lalo na yung eyelids ko, nandyan pa rin siya, and yung sa cheeks ko. Na, wash off lang ng aking ring light, yung ilaw, pero it's still here. As in, kitang-kita siya. It's really worth it. So that's it for my review of the color tint from Color Red. I hope I was able to break down the details of this product to you guys. And I hope I was able to explain how the product worked on my skin. As what I've mentioned a while ago, guys, I'm so into these type of products. So please, kung meron kayong alam na magandang brands or magandang mga ganitong multi-use products, please comment down below so I can check them out. And also, kung meron kayong gustong mga bili na mga multi-use products but you're not sure if it's good, kaya ayaw yung mag-splurge, comment down below as well so I can do a review for you guys. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.